this is the real rise of the divine feminine in the world. The divine feminine is really the space that's being held to allow for. So it's what's allowed for and the boundaries of what's not allowed for. So when we are being the authors of our lives and creating our lives, it's what we allow to be and what we say no to that creates our lives. So that is the um, uh, divine feminine rising, which men and women have. The masculine energy is what we, what the action, what we put action into, right? But it can't exist unless there's space for it, right? The world is the way it is, is because we make space for it. We allow it to be. We haven't put up the boundaries and said no. We can do that individually with where we put our focus, where we have our mind, what we're thinking about, right? Now, if we're watching a lot of horror movies, we are giving our energy currency to those thoughts, those horror thoughts, those invasive do harm thoughts, right? And then we will experience the harm if we decide I'm watching movies and participating in actions that are do no harm and I set my boundary to anything that is harmful and that includes like veganism because veganism is about do no harm to other living animals and souls. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, that, that's a aspect. But we each get to choose our aspect of what we allow in our container and what we send boundaries to. So I'll just use the example of a vegan, right? A vegan sets a boundary that I will not ingest and participate in the industry of any animal product. Um, you know, I know about the uh, harsh treatment to animals in the industrial meat industry, in the industrial milk and dairy industry, how calves are pulled away from their mothers and crying and um, then slaughtered as veal, and how cows are just used to milk for four years, and when they're finished milking, they do not get to continue their natural 25-year life. They're slaughtered. Um, you know, when I realize there's a lot of harm in that industry, I set my boundary not to participate in harm anymore. Then you are just allowing within your your life, your story, your authorship of your life, the um, the, the, the love, the caring. Um, but we all get to choose what we put into our space and what we set a boundary against. Um, and it's important to kind of go back and find out deep within your heart, what is my mission in life? What is my purpose for being here? And as I shared earlier, I found my purpose is to expand joy and beauty. Um, then I can just go back to the core and just listen to is what I'm doing right now. Part of my mission is it expanding joy and beauty. Um, and then know how to set my boundaries as well. So I pretty much disconnect from any social media, any messages, any stories that talk about dis-ease, because I'm in the path of ease, and um, I disconnect with any of the stories that are also um, political uh, conflict, um, and because anything that feels not of joy and beauty. I set my boundaries, and I keep my space filled with that which I am looking to expand. 
just a, just a like food for thought to really get back into the core of simplicity and allow for the um, possibility of choosing new thoughts again.